The third and smallest pyramid at Giza belonged to King Menkaure, or Mycerinus. George Reisner excavated the temples associated with this pyramid on behalf of the Boston Museum of Fine Arts and Harvard University Expedition. The years were 1906 to 1907. And although the pyramid was the smallest of the three, Reisner knew that the temples held the greatest promise, and he was correct. Some of the greatest statuary ever to come from Old Kingdom excavations derived from the Pyramid Temple, which you see here, and the Valley Temple, the subject of another video. The Pyramid Temple has a courtyard with pillars around it, and then subsidiary chambers such as a sanctuary at the very back that you see here. What did it contain? A statue of the king? A false door? A stela? There is also an enigmatic, unfinished area that you see here, open air, at the back at the southwest corner. Many of the materials were reused, and in fact the temple was never completed by Menkaure himself, but his son and successor, Shepsiskov, had to do much of the completion in mud brick. Perhaps the greatest discovery to come from this area was an alabaster colossal statue of Menkaure, found in several pieces in various locations in the temple. This is one of the largest Old Kingdom sculptures ever found, and it has now been reconstructed and is on display in the Museum of Fine Arts Boston. Interesting questions arise about statuary, just how much was there, and in its fragmentary state, it indicates that we may have lost much more statuary than Reisner was able to discover. The three subsidiary pyramids belonging to Menkaure's queens are visible in the distance, and the pyramid temple connected by a long causeway running eastwards and ending in the king's valley temple.